Hello, welcome to this section of Algebra 1. We're going to cover one of the most important topics that you will ever learn in algebra, so make sure you pay attention in this lesson. We're going to finally learn about how to really solve equations. Um, and we're going to be using addition and subtraction. You'll understand what that means here in a second. But we're basically embarking on a journey where we're getting to the point in algebra. You know, all of the stuff that we've learned has really been foundation, you know, material that's very, very important. But really, this section, we're starting to get into the, the real reason why algebra exists, because we want to solve equations, you know. We want to go, you know, later on, deal with E equals MC squared and solve that equation for something. Or we want to go write an equation to figure out how fast a rocket is going to travel and solve that equation for the rocket's speed. Or we want to calculate the gravity of an object, and so we want to go solve that equation for how much gravity exists. That's what algebra is for. It's for solving equations, for writing problems down, and then writing the equation down that describes the problem, and then solving it for whatever the unknown value is so that we can write the answer down. That's what it's for. So here we're going to start with these simpler equations called single step equations, which just means that they only take one step to solve them. But everything you learn in this section is going to be critical for the future, so make sure you pay attention. The thing I want to impress upon you is that all equations are like a seesaw. And what I mean by a seesaw is that thing at the playground that you see that's got like a, a piece of wood and some balance point in the center, right? And what you end up having is one person, I'm here I'm going to draw a box, on this side of the seesaw, and you have another person on the other side of the seesaw. Now, if the distance between here and here is the same as the distance here, in other words, if the thing is balanced, okay? And if you put a person over on this side, or a box, let's call it a box, and then you put a person on this side of the same size, same weight, everything is the same, person over here or object over here is the same,